Diplan ang Pasay City, inoli yan po kasama si Kinito Henson at yan ang ating Fundador starting unit para sa Gordon's Gin at Alaska Milk. It's basically from their starting unit to March 2, Kinito. Dalawa namang nagpalit dyan, si Baldavid is starting out para sa Gordon's Gin at si Dwight Lago naman para sa Alaska Milk. Well, for Baldavid, uh, this will be his first start to all Filipino conference at uh, ang dahilan ko bakit pinasok nila si Baldavid as starting uh, point guard is because Pido Jorecho not able to play because of a back injury. Subali ito si Baldavid has been a uh, key player for uh, Gordon Singh. Kanya, importante, importante siguro, he gets off to a good start. Talking about good start, napakaganda ng pagpapasimula ni Duda Jaworski. A swipe, then a good move on the part of Jaworski. Pinatalbog yung uh, bola sa tuhod ni Johnny Abarelo. By the way, ang ating mga referees, referees Chua Varela and Bernie De Jos. Punong-puno po ang Cuneta after doon pinito. Grabe talaga. This has been a rivalry na talagang growing, growing by the, by the conference, by the game. So there are all Filipino conference last year. It was uh, Gordon Skin, then known as never San Miguel, eliminating Alaska for the second final slot in a playoff. At uh, of course, matatandaan po natin, third conference last year. Uh, Hinebra versus Alaska. And that... Uh, Playoff series went the way of Alaska in completing the grand plan. First blood drawn by Marlo Aquino. Tapos sumagot ka agad si Johnny Abariantos. At tabla po ang ating talaan. A minute gone by dito sa unang yugto. As far as the size of the matchup, itong isang matchup that is going to be very key at this game. Lofting versus Hawkins. At talaga ito, that is a battle of two very, very big boys. And big scorers for their team. Hey Paul, and now Laban kay Paul David in the rebound play. Well, kaya na nabanggit ni Kinito, mga kaibigan, ito pong La Tontenya franchise ng Gordon's Gin has not yet lost two games in a row this season. Napuli uh, nilang pagkatalo ng dalawang sunod back in the Governor's Cup Finals kung saan natalo sila in games 2 and 3 of the Governor's Cup Finals. Alam mo, Kinito, sinasabi mo, may mga susi dito sa pagkapanalo ng dalawang kumpunan. Ano ba yung keys to win? Well, keys to win for Gordon Gin, unang-unang open court attack because that is where Noli Loctin is toughest. Pangalawa, Paul David must be on track in his game. And number three, force a shootout, meaning to say, offense and orientation. Alam po natin ito ng Gordon Gin is the league number one offensive team in the league. Averaging 95 points a game. No other team in the PBA is averaging in the 90s. Three-point shot, Jaworski, masyadong malakas. Baldovid in an offensive rebound, pero hindi niya natanganan. Lockin ngayon, dalawang fake, fall away, off the glass. Sarah partner, Noli Lockin had to make two fakes before going up for his shot, aware that Bong Hawkins is the man guarding him. Si Bong Hawkins, hindi pwedeng tawaran ng depensa niyan. Has been a tremendous force in the shaded lane at merong offensive foul. Naitatawag. Laban kay Coach Winyo, pangalawa na yan. Sa Alaska naman dito, ano mga susi para manalo sila ngayon araw na ito? Well, it's to win for Alaska. Alagay ko, a very critical factor is to limit Gordon's team to below 90 points. Challenge the interior and eliminate Marlo Aquino. And when you say eliminate Marlo Aquino, this is the top scorer of Gordon. And not only is he a good scoring machine for the team, but also a good passer. If you eliminate Marlo Aquino from the offense, that will mean uh, taking away a big chunk of the firepower potential of this team. Ang ibig sabihin yan, napakalaki ng responsibilidad sa balikat ni Pot Suinho, who already picked up his second foul. Ngayon si Abariantos picking up a foul. Laban kay Val David at si David is on the line in the flash. First time they met, March 2 scored 7 points. Only uh, played 18 minutes dun sa larong yung Kinito and shot uh, only all his points from the free throw line. That's a very good start here for uh, Paul David as you take a look at his uh, averages. Dalawa mula sa linya si Paul David, apat po ang abante ng Bors. 9.43 ang ating itatakbo dito sa unang ito. Pero uh, one big reason kung bakit uh, napaka-importante for Gordon Gin to have uh, Baldavid get off your good shot is because it will make Johnny Abariantos work harder on defense if Baldavid is instinct offensively. Ganda ng dalaw sila rin ni Paul Hawkins off a pass ni Dwight Lago at tumataw kay Hawkins kinito si Marlo Aquino right at this early stages. Well, especially when he goes down low. Don Hawkins, the political leader, has scored 14 points. He's on the main stage. 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 Good execution. 
Para walang masyadong reaction yung depensa ng Alaska. A little bit slow coming off the curl of the pick. Min Tison found himself open. Not quite a long shot for Rizon, but just right. Nice medium range jumper. A nice expectation dito kanito. Will it still be the same high scoring mong pagkaya na ka din first meeting, 99-91? I don't think so unless uh, uh, Gordon Kim uh, dictates. Palagators and Gordon Kim will want to run the ball up and down the court. They want to play this shoot out. At uh, alam po natin na itong Gordon Kim, walang tatalo yan in terms of trading basket. So the only way I think that Flasco can win is to be able to put a stop on Gordon's offense. In the Defensa, key for Alaska. In the meantime, kailangan nilang pigilan din si Johnny Abarientos. Dalawang beses pa nang kumakawala. Four points in the game para kay Flying A. At dalawa po ang abate ng Gordon Jin. Now in this play, you see Marlo Aquino way outside. And they're moving the ball between Rockin and Deaton. Rockin proving to Vaughn Hawkins that he also has a good outside shot. Mabe Chinoli looked in and had us, or I guess it's in maybe Puntos Catalaro. Not bad for a big power forward, 63% from the field. At kita mo yung kalawit. Noli looked in, the top rebounding player. Dito sa liga with an average of 10. Sa matala, Valdebe kicks it out to the jersey. Asado ng malapit. At si Mablay ang bola, mananatili ang possession sa panig ng mga nakapula. Factor, that play was set up for Dodot Jaworski. Wide open lane. At madali yata si Dodot. Si Dodot. <laughs> At madali siya. He had a wide open lane. Ay, alam mo, yan po sinatawag na yung fans ng tatay mo, maaari yung sumama na rin sa'yo. Parang kampanya yan eh. <laughs> na matala, minsan siya naman ang tira ni Jim Stephen. Minsan ng his second shot in a row. Part of Papagula to the Dodo Jaworski, mm -hmm. you know that he's been starting for uh, one ano. game. Yes, one game after another. And there is a reason behind that. Sa tingin ko, Papagula siya. You hardly expect him to create an impact very early in this game. And the opposition, of course, will take him lightly. And Whoa! Marlo Aquino, wide open for that top shot. From a great speed, Malaki Noli looks in at hindi na makakahintay si Tim Cohn. Tatawag sila ng kanilang unang timeout. Join! Magang adjustments para sa Alaska Milk and Wine Up. Uh, monster of a slam mula kay Marlo Aquino of that feed. At abante po ang Gordon's Gin ng aning na puntos. Pasha, you have a situation in that open court sa opportunities for Gordon's Gin where you have too many offensive options. Kanya ito si Kevin Ramas thinking that uh, uh, the finisher will be Tony Locke's team. Left the lane wide open for Marlo Aquino on one flank. Mintis na naman ang opensa ng Alaska Milk at si Dodo Jaworski getting another board here. Narito si Valdevi, binigyan ng screen ni Noli Lokin. Jump shot, basta! At ang Alaska Milk, or rather ang Gordon Zien, 6 out of 10 from the field, Ginito, this early in the game. Valdevi, nakakahanap si ng Puang. That time, Marlo Aquino again playing the high post, throwing the big man away, and giving Valdevi an opening to move in closer for a jump shot. Dojo Lastimosa answering the challenge. The Dojo Lastimosa, of course, averaging 15.7 points per game. It's a uh, third leading scorer, even sa kapuna ni Coach Tim Cohn. So, anin pa rin po ang abate ng Gordon Jin. Two seconds to shoot. Visa does not know it. At matatawagan ng 24 ang Gordon Jin. That time, too tentative. A lot of screens being run here by uh, the Gordon Gin team. They wanted to get the ball in the hands of uh, Vin Tizo. Magadang pick ni uh, Marlo Aquino. But you notice, Marlo is not posting up. He does not want the ball. At least not yet. He's setting high pick for the shooters of Gordon. But he himself is not posting down low for the shot. Oh, this is a great play. Give and go play between Hawkins and Lastimosa. At papasok ang basket, may kasama pang foul mula kay Vin Tiso. Sino mo itong play na to? Simply Vin Tiso, Kinito. Yes. At wala si Marlo sa gitna. Exactly. He's there just looking. Hindi siya tumulong sa defensa. And a very quick play. Good movement on the part of Giorgio Lastimosa. And good post play by Bong Hopping providing the screen and the pass. Last time up, nakita itong dalawang kapunan. Giorgio Lastimosa had 13 free throws, made 12, 92%, 33 points. But as a fourth quarter man, played 41 minutes in that game. And an incredible performance of Giorgio Lastimosa. Eto, ngayon si Marlo Aquino is trying to post. He's going to double team. Eto na naman si Marlo. 
Yun na dyan at kick out. Ano may forma ng kamay pero mahi, mahina ng bahagya. Last ball sa nasa harapan niya si Loxin. Binigay kay Hawkins. Tuloy-tuloy si Paul Hawkins. And that lead with stood at 8 points is now down to 1. Sinito. Marcel Marlo Aquino getting left behind in defense that time. Talk about defense. Yung transition naman ng Alaska. Nagpakita ng ipin. At natapik palabas yung pass na patungo kay Marlo Aquino. Boy Fernandez checking in early. Hindi niya papagdan si Abariantos. Instead, he will take out Paul Hawkins. Are you surprised? Well, I think so, no? because uh, Bob Hawkins uh, certainly has the ceiling over Boyet Fernandez. And uh, magkakaroon dito yun ng, uh, ng mga defensive uh, switches. Uh, White Lago is now going to pick up uh, Nori Lockin. Uh, partner, uh, one reason kung bakit uh, pinasok ni uh, Coach Tim Doni ito si Boyet Fernandez, siguro na nakikita niya na medyo mahinang sumakbo itong uh, combination of Gordon Jim uh -huh. on the floor. Okay. So he probably wants to run the, run the floor a little bit to get opportunities to score a transition. So he has seen that in that last play. You know, uh, but also in the previous play with Jordi Rosa using the nice ring and the defense board is not quick enough to be able to stop the celebration. Yes, sabi niya, mukha yata nakakakuha sila ng marami mga attempts from the inside because of quickness. So that's why he's going to to go with a combination, a backward combination of Abariento and Fernandez for more quickness. Mabilang dako naman, puro mismatch ito sa depensa. This one is being taken on by Abariento and Lockin again. Quite lago, si Mar Lockino, laban kay Kevin Ramos. Tumapak sa end line si Vince Pizon. That will mean an automatic inbound for the last Camilo. Right then, Bukamina Malas yata si Dodot. He has taken four attempts from the field. Wala pang pumasok. He has taken three triple V attempts. The worst, he averages 41.2%. He goes to Puyan from the rainbow territory in triple V. Fernandez. Nastimosa, iniputang si Hizon. Nakakandado. Tumira pa rin. Umangat. Kumalbog. Palabas. Nuxi na naman. Subalit merong foul ay tatawag laban si Kevin Ramas. Evan Ramos will pick up his first personal foul. That will be the 14th foul for Alaska Milk. Well, partner, in that situation, Kevin Ramos really the only big man of Alaska on the floor. Kanya kulang na kulang sila sa ceiling. No? Ramos badly needs help. Winyo sitting down. Hawkins is sitting down. And this is an opportunity for Gordon Jim to dominate the board. With only Kevin Ramos holding the court for Alaska. Si Vincenzo Nabagia Barriento, he goes up, just a little too strong, at si Ramos ang nakakuha ng rebound. Well, the condition coach uh, Robert Jaworski, small line of the Alaska, they're going to attack the post. At si Lastimosa is hot early on. A total of 7 points para kay Jolas at lamang na po ang Alaska Milk ng isa, 15 to 14. Ang partner, napakasapan natin kanina, ito si Jojo Lastimosa, was the nightmare of Gordon Jim the first time out. And Dodo Jaworski, pinabayaan na naman ang defense ng Alaska. Sabi niya, nagtitira na ako, sigurado na ito. Triple V Country, mula kay Dodo Jaworski, getting his first 3 points. At may foul na ibibigay si Jaworski on the other end. Partner, you give up some, and uh, you take some, you lose some. And with Dodo Jaworski, he missed his first four attempts. But Coach Sonny Jaworski going with his son, and finally delivering a three-point bomb. Si JV Gayosa, papasok ngayon. Tinatan niya si Dodo Jaworski, si Benny Cheng. Pumasok niya, tinatan si Vince Hizon. This is for uh, defensive purposes, particularly because Jojo Lassimosa is blocking hot and he continues! Nine points now for Jojo! Nabanggit nga natin that he likes playing against the team. Benny Ching on the other end of the floor, outrunning the whole Alaska defense. Okay, ito na yung fast break attack ng uh, Gordon Jin. One of the reasons for Bakit uh, Pinalita si Jordan Jaworski is that Coach Robert Jaworski wants a quicker team on the floor. Perhaps just to match up better now with the small and quick players of Alaska. May foul na ibinigay si JV Gayosa. That will be number one. Well, ito po larong ito. We promise an exciting game. At sa unang yung two po lamang po tayo, dalawa lamang ng Gordons. Paddock Jeans, a legend on its own. Paddock, the official jeans of the PBA. Welcome back, Philippines. Ayan po si Bong Hawkins na binibigyan ng konting treatment dyan sa kanilang bench. Can you do something to do with his back right now? Mukha nga, yes. 
we did uh, note that uh, he sat down very early in this game. Malagay ko, may nararamdaman si Bong Hock and may bigla siyang pinaupo ni Coach Tim Cohn. And he naturally will want Bong Hock in 100% as much as possible. Very, very important offensive and defensive player for the last game to Bong Hock. Kumadala si Jojo Lastimosa, hindi pa rin mapigilan ganito. He has been really hot. It was the first quarter pa lang. He's taking off from where he played in the first game. Nung naka-score siya ng 33 points against this same Golden Gym team. Si Jolas, partner, ang taas ng percentage. 4 out of 7 from the floor, better than 50%. Ito, double figures na si Jolas. At sumabil na tayo. 19 all ang ating puntalaan. Ang uh, Gordon's Jin, uh, pinanasan ng kanyang lineup. Uh, part of you also notice that uh, Boyet Fernandez is taking on uh, Baldavid in defense. And uh, there's a traveling violation, a turnover. Part of that's significant because Abariento is not being changed. And this is also one critical adjustment of Coach uh, Tim Cohn. Nakita siguro ni Coach Tim Cohn that if he leaves Johnny Abariento in the game, he will be forced to play defense on Baldavid. Baka mahirapan nito si Abariento. Kanya, konting tulang sa defense, kanya nandun si Boyd Fernandez. That's also one reason why Fernandez is playing together with Johnny Abariento to save the flying A for offense. Ito ulit yung si Bong Hawkins. Ang report ay meron siyang back spasm at yan pong yung na-apply na yan, PNS o Muscle Relaxant. Relaxant. And ang report, he will return to action. Sabalit siguro bibigyan ng konting pahinga yung kanyang likod. Matala si Benny Cheng, hindi sa kanyang dira from the outside. Only at 2 minutes remaining dito sa ating unang nito. Like that, too many false plays here trying to create or take advantage of the mismatch as well as those by Gordon Jim. And they're forgetting to put the ball in the hands of their key offensive option. Ayan si Gayoso. Again, Lokti and Milo Aquino are not getting involved in offense. Because one of course coach Robert Jaworski wants to vary his offense. But ang concentration yata ni Jaworski ngayon is to put the ball at low post for Benny Cheng to attack the mismatch at that post. But when you keep on doing that, you keep the ball out of the hands of Marlo Aquino and Nori Lofi. And you want those two, play two key players to be involved in the offense. Well, nakita natin si Sonny Jaworski. Kinakausap ang kanyang uh, panglalaro na si Benny Cheng. Hindi ka ng instructions. White Lago, a transferee mula sa Mobiline Cellulars. At si Jojo Lastumosa, kaya na napanggit natin. This is the core of the Alaska Triangle. Although yung isang bahagi niya nakahiga ngayon sa Higg, it remains the most solid, potent combination dito sa PBA so far. Ito yan, and slowly but surely, Coach Tim Cohn is bringing in his new players to be very comfortable in his Triangle formation. And one reason why we can say that they are becoming more comfortable is the way they've been winning games on defense. Si Benny Cheng kumila sa labas. Get the basket from the outside. At si Benny Cheng meron na pong apat na puntos. Off the bench. Tabla po ulit tayo. 21 all. Samantala may illegal beat. No, it's a foul. Laban si Benny Cheng. Nasa meron din ang Gordon's Jane. One more foul to give ang Alaska Mill. They have foul shooting time once more for Alaska. Si Muni Foul is being given up by Gordon's Jane. Alaska is looking to tie the all-time record na hawak ng Chris Pat Toyota of eight straight finals appearances dito sa All-Filipino Conference. Nagahanap din sila ng limang sunod na corona. Kung makukuha nila yan, it will move them one short of the league-leading Chris Pat's record of six straight back in 1975 to 1977. At nakita natin si Tim Conconina in three years. His winning person gets you 64 percent as head coach of Alaska. Ah, and believe it or not, back in 1993, Coach Tim Cole was given an ultimatum by Tim Cole. Right on time, sir. Sabi niya, kung hindi mo mapanalo yung team nato, makamasipa ka na. But Coach Tim Cole has stayed on with the job, and team owner Fred Ultensu has not regretted the decision of keeping Tim Cole on the job since 1989. Six titles for Tim Cohn, ten finals appearances. Samantala ang ating score, abangin ang Gordon's Gin ang dalawa. Abarientos, patay. Deadlock ball game, 23 all. Pang lima nating tabla ito. Only that much time remaining sa ating unang yuto. 
Schumann Gang. Lovita, tapping the ball at the last of the court. Taplo, taplo, yan, laban ki Benny Jeng. Goy Fernandez, tiene ni Caparieto. Kumanga, gula. Ako ko na pa rin, ang tira ni Lastimosa. Mahal to beat now, has the leather. Mark pass niya, masyadong abante. Bad pass mula ki Valdivir. This Gordon's win team, Tinito, averages 20.8 turnovers per game, the highest in the yes, league. Yes, that's the highest in the league. And partner, that was a poor decision on the part of Valdivir. Because they could have held on for the last shot. Now they give an opportunity to Alaska to score the last basket of this quarter. Three points shot. Yeah! Yuno Masakit. Yuno Masakit, Valdivir's poor decision. Resulting in that three-point basket by Boyan Fernandez to and end the quarter. All right, Japona Guavacas, Lastimosa with a big quarter, 11 points. And he's leading the charge for the Alaska Mill. They're top by three after one quarter. Green Cross Rubbing Alcohol, the official rubbing alcohol of the PBA. Partner natin sa kalusugan. At pagsimula po ng second quarter, abante ang Alaska Milk ng tatlong puntos. At yan ay sa kadahilanan ng isang three-point shot ng uh, si Boyd Fernandez. Samantala si Marlo Aquino getting a short stab. At si Tero Alvarillo is in the ball game for the first time para sa Gordon's Gin. Well, he's uh, actually seeing action for the first time in the entire conference. Oh. He's a player ito si Tero Alvarillo. But he's coming in, of course, because of that injury of... Uh, Tito Jarencio to play the point guard position, relieving uh, Valdovic. Tumapak daw sa linya si Peroy Alvarillo. But a good defensive stop nonetheless. Only five seconds na nalalabi sa shot clock ng Alasco Milk. Partner ito si Alvarillo is a feisty player. Yes. May three-point shot dyan. Mm. At saka kung dupepensa, talagang tinikitang ka niyan. So, uh, high expectations for Peroy Alvarillo. But uh, big shoes to fill because of uh, Tito Jarencio's absence. Traveling violation. Si Jojo Lastimosa, mga kaibigan, nakaupo sa kasalukuyan. He led the charge ng first quarter. At kaya na napanggit natin against Gordon's Gin. Parang yan ang kanyang uh, pinakamalaking challenge. Look at his performance back in March 2. Mr. Clutch doing everything for his team yeah, then. Jojo Lastimosa. Partner Alaska continuing to play with a small lineup. But uh, you see that Gordon is not taking advantage of uh, the high speed matches. As you see, Ben Chirin going to throw to the hole. That time, finding the opening, well, actually, natitiko itong mga malalaki because they're drawing the big men of Alaska out. Both big men of uh, Gordon Chin playing the long court, not low court. Offensive foul, laban kay Boy Fernandez. At itong small unit ni Coach Tim Kuhn, tila nakakasorpresa sa Gordon Chin. Well, bago yan, alam mo, maraming uh, ikang winning average na nakikita natin na uh, ikang barometer ng Gordon. Well, totoo yan. Itong Gordon sa uh, Gin, ang pinanalo sila, they're averaging 97 points. Pero kung natatalo sila, 87.5 points. That's a 10-point differential. Meaning to say that they win because of offense. In the two games that we have lost here, they have been held down to less than 90 points. Kanya, kung sa pinag-usapan natin na rin ay yung piece of injury ng Alaska, one of the points we talked about was that Alaska might want to limit Gordon to less than 90. It was the threshold nila 90. Kung baka ay score sila na 90, chances are, more often than not, mananalo ang Gordon. Kapatala sila naman ni Legal D ang itinawag sa Alaska Milk and J.B. Gayoso getting the point yan sa lineup ngayon ng uh, Gordon's Gen Partner. Dalawang pumoposti yan. Halos taklo pati si Benny Cheng. Talagang pinipili niya sarili niya lapat sa mas maliit ng Peru and Gomez. Actually, quite bad. They're also doing a good job. Um, I'm sorry, Long. He's denying his possession. But Marlo Aquino that time, posting up, drew the double team. Pero sabi niya, okay lang. Mas kina i-double team niyo ako. Mas kina i-triple team niyo ako. 6-9 ako. Ako pa din ang pinakabatagad sa inyo lahat. Sabi niya. Tumatala may foul ay binigay si Peroy Alvarillo on the other end of the floor. Number one, dapat si Dalit player ng uh, RFL franchise si Peroy Alvarillo. Ano yung mas mas pinag-usapan natin, yung 90-point plato that uh, Gordon Chin must hurdle if it wants uh, to have a high probability of winning this game. At the end of the first quarter, Gordon scored 23, time score 92 points. So if they keep that rate of 23 points, ah, point. well, they will, be, they will be scoring more than 90, put it that way. Ang tanong na lang dyan, kung yung score naman ng Alaska na 26, ita times 40 nila. Yung nga na. Namandala may foul ay tinawag kung sa drive, Dwight Lago tatanggap na kanyang second personal foul. Dito sa larong ito, so far si Benny Cheng off the bench has scored 8 points 
four out of five from the field. Yan na rin ang numero ni Marlo Aquino na meron ng tumumpong walong putos. Quite a calculated gamble ito ni Coach Robert Zawersky that he's allowing his uh, smaller men to go straight to the home. The Coley Rock team that time tried to create a situation wala passive opportunity. Ito ang weakness ng Alaska. Yan yung sinasabi po na Ika nga panagot ng uh, last minute, kaya pinasok itong maliit na line at ito. Triple team, inilabas ni Marlo Aquino, muntik na magagaw ni uh, Aparientos. Aquino, tap by Benny, or rather boy, sa nangis, sinis ka rin ang tiro ni Jamie Gayoso, and Aparientos now with the leather. Aparientos still. And Gayoso and Aquino are still in the backcourt. Now Gayoso, coming too late. Pasa sa loob, libre si Aparientos, at patay na naman. And he has tied the score. 30 all at si Gary Valenciano watching this ball game alam natin kung sinong uh, chinichir niyan <laughs> part of the defender ng Gordon team is collapsing in that particular situation iwan na naman sa defender kung si Marlo Aquino and JD Bayoso also was a little late in coming down oh, Marlo Aquino making up once more nice pass well done drop play by JD Bayoso Marlo Aquino unstoppable inside napuputos na po si Marlo Aquino Six points coming here in the second quarter. At the bottom of the two, and Gordon's gin. Eight and a half remaining in the second period. Jump shot. Patay na naman. Dwight Lago getting his range. Four points in the game para kay Dwight Lago. Clean as a whistle. It's a tira ni Dwight Lago who has uh, slowly gained confidence oh. as a good wingman and perimeter scorer for Alaska. And kailangan ng Alaska yan. You need good outside shooting to break up the interior defense. Yun ang uh, specialty naman ni Keroy Alvarillo. Subalit, it went in and then went out. Still a deadlock ball game at 32. Eight minutes remaining dito sa ating second period. Abarientos. Ito pa rin. Inilabas si Kevin Ramas. Bagyan ang nalibrin. Iginap siya at wala. At the back ni Abarientos na punta ni Gomez. Yun. Parang uh, nakakay ang mga rebounders na mga nakapulang. Gordon's game. Well, of course, Milo Aquino was outside of that play. Kanya, wala siya sa rebounding situation. Pero nandiyan naman si Nolio Aktif. At saka ito si Benny Cheng. Eh, Marunong yung mga uh, uh, kumuha ng posisyon oh. for the rebounding. Pero in that situation, only the right shirt for the rebound. Milo Aquino completely trapped underneath Parang pinotakti siya doon sa inalim. Pero five turns. We have to give credit to the skyscraper. Ito yung pasa ni Jamie Aguino. Pass and nice sidestepping move. Marlo Aquino has developed that nice drop step to the hoop. And stop of all when he makes that move. Now in the previous play, when Marlo Aquino was fouled, he kept the ball alive. He was standard. He was harassed and harangued. But he kept uh, his wits together and he's now at the strike trying to earn his points from the line, missing his first free throw, however. Si Wilmer Wong, papasok na ngayon para sa panic ng Gordon Jin. At kasama na rin si Jim Season, samantara ko naman sa last minute, pumalik na po si Jojo Lastimosa at si Poch Winyo. Samantara itong uh, Gordon Jin Pinito is the worst free throw shooting team in the league. Si Marlo Aquino, only 58% from that from that area, the Noli looks in 55.6 and definitely that's going to be a factor in the Salarong. Well, especially Marlo Aquino because you know that he will get fouled a lot. He takes a lot of closing shots and the defense will always want to make him earn his points on the line. And you know this is that situation, Marlo Aquino making two free throws. And then the man of Jim, this is The running attack of Gordon Jim at the Vin Tiso nakapagsala. Ang kanyang pang-apat na puntos, tabla po ang ating score, 34 all. Partner, in a situation where you're going up against a small Alaska unit, a small Alaska combination, you need to be able to make sure that you control the board. And once you control the board, then you can dictate the pace. Gusto tumakbo ng Gordon Chin, kaya nila yun, because if they can get the rebound, you can pitch the outlet, and you have excellent finishers in Vin Chison. And JV may also, to some extent. Alam mo, bibilip ka rin, Doon sa ginagawa ni Coach Tim Cohn, parang he's throwing out of rhythm yung depensa na pinapakita ng Gordon Jin. Yung kanya small line up kanina ngayon naman, parang yung mga combination niya, hindi nila nangandaan ng opinita. Well, part time, I think he also has very little choice because Bo Hawking is not able to play because of a bad back. And so he feels he has to take care of the situation. What a move mula kay Vince Heathen! Right in the face ni Jojo Lastimosa! 
And he's uh, now getting his points inside. Apat na putos na magkasunod. At abati na muli ang Gordon Sien ang dalawa, 36-34. Yung kapag sir, you know, isang binibilisan na ng uh, Gordon Sien ang laro. So I also think that this whole lineup of uh, Gordon Sien Tone is a little bit tired at this stage. Uh, there's a foul given up by Ong. Oh, good foul because... Yung tira yata ni Pichio uh, pumasok oh. Across the baseline Ito yung isang foul on Gomez Ito yung huling galaw mga kaibigan ni Vince He's on, he's on fire Right in your face Laban kay Jose Lastimosa Off the glass Walong puntos para kay Vince Season. Oh, fighter, you notice the presence of mind of Vince Season When he went up for that layup The left hand niya He kept it below his waist Because if he Kung aagapin mo Yung left arm mo Baka tawagan ka ng offensive oh. foul Because of warning So he is very conscious of that And you call that presence of mind On the part of this Budding superstar Vince Season. Just to correct myself Ani na puntos para kay Vince Season. Terry Saldana, pumasok kanina, pinasang si Mario Aquino, sangsak sa labas, saglay, rebound ni Giorgio Lastimosa. Lastimosa has been magnificent in this ball game. Total of 13 points already para ni Giorgio Lastimosa. Factor facing for uh, uh, Mario Aquino, uh -huh. now sitting on the bench. But of course, with Robert Lewinsky realizing that he needs rebounding power, kanya na dyan si Terry Saldana and Wilmer Long, but both of them going to the strong side of the basket, amalian nila. They forgot to uh, check the weak side, and that's why there was an offensive rebound by Alaska. When you have two big men, you've got to split your position. Oh. One has to be weak and one has to be strong. Whoa! Talking about strong, a strong move. Mulaki Teroy Alvarillo, yung pinakamaliit na manalaro sa loob ng basketball court. And he ties the game, Alvarillo, on the scoreboard. Unang dalawang puntos niya as a Gordon's Gin player. Partner, that was uh, Gordon's Gin. Attacking the interior of Alaska. And they feel that this interior will slowly crumble because napakalakas kasi ng mga interior big men ng uh, Gordon's Gin. Oh. And here we go once more. Alvarillo staring the face. Oh, misses the shot. Inilabas ni Wilmer Rong. Napunta kay Ben Season. Season pa rin. Crossover move. Nasapal ng bagya. Loose ball. Napuloki. Finally, J.B. Gayoso. Agawang buko. It's the first back pass ni J.B. Gayoso. And he will be fouled. Si Pochwinia will be fouled by Gayoso. J.B. Gayoso spoiling what would have been a beautiful play here for Gordon's gym. Help to Skelter, dito po sa second quarter, it's a tight ball game, we'll be back. Yan po sa San Pablo City, samantara itong narong ito, has been wild and woolly, ang Gordon's Gin shooting in the second quarter, 7 out of 10 from the field of Alaska, 6 and 6 out of 12, so both very high shooting. Yes, well, both teams actually scoring well on the fast break, and they're getting away with layup, which is the reason why the percentages from the field are very high. Now, Mar Merwin Castello is checking in now. Uh, for the first time in this game. But again, it's a small lineup being employed by uh, Alaska. Maganda rin yung pagpa pagpapasok nila Vince Season at saka actually pagbabalik. At saka ni Alvarillo. Both of them fresh legs and both of them setting the pace here. And Maki De Hoya caught unawares by the shot clock. Naging tentative masyado. They need the ball in the hands of the shooters, not Maki De Hoya. Pangalawang beses nang kinatawagan ng 24. Ang Gordon Sjin. By the way, si Teroy Alparillo, mga kaibigan, kung kayo nasusurpresa kung bakit siya nasa uniforme ng Gordon Sjin. Well, siya ang uh, temporary replacement ni Pito Orenzo sa kanilang line of Orenzo with a back problem. It will be out for about four to five games in the report natin. So, si Teroy Alparillo is signed to a long contract dito sa All Filipino Conference. Uh, ito naman si uh, Poch Winyo called for traveling against uh, the physical defense of Terry Saldana. Ito si Terry, very good post-up defensive player. He makes you feel his body. Kanya, if you're a player who's trying to back in on uh, Terry Saldana, tapos na kapag mo yung kanyang katawan, uh -huh. you have second thoughts because you, you think that uh, number one, if you go off for a shot, you might get blocked. Or number two, if you move in, you might get hit. Oh, okay, this is Terry Saldana. Napakagulag na player. At hindi pa naman ang katawa niya, mabigat. Aha! Samantala, nagliriklamo si Tim Cohn at saka si Giorgio Lastimosa on that last call. 13 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Alvarillo. Walang ganador dito sa Gordon Sien. Sa kasalukuyan, Terry Saldana nabitawan ng bola. Totoo yan, Pachel. What a keen observation because in this combination of Gordon Sien, you know that you have only... What? Basically, one oh, offensive option would be Hison. So you will collapse the defense on Hison 
and you will make sure if you're playing defense that the ball is in the hands of your non-shooters. Still a two-point lead, Mayor Putai Saino. Been uh, very unpredictable to say the least, Benito. Yes, because we're seeing a, a, a lot of unpredictable combinations oh. you know, on the floor. Ito mo, wala si Marlon ngayon dyan. Wala dyan din si Bong Hawkins. Meron ka pang sanan. Yes, wala dyan din only locks in. Good thing. One on one move. Johnny Barriero denying yung defense ni Val David, who incidentally has come back into the game to replace Teroy Alvarillo. Ito si uh, Val David. Uh, we've prepared a little graphic to show you how important he is in to the cause of Gordon's gym. David, uh, you might call him the parameter of Gordon's gym. Uh -huh. well, the flash has been a vital part for uh, Gordon's gym. Uh, the basket and the lead has been sliced to two points. Ibal David and the double line. Wilmer Rowe, winning it. Ibal David, you're going to lose. Parker, Gordon's gym. He has free access in those driving layups. Tabla na po tayo, 42 all. Parker, you also notice that uh, Eto si Pim Pison in this quarter has scored twice on drive. Eto si Maki Tohoya again scoring on drive. What is he going to the drive as the basic offensive weapon? Kasi yung kanila jump shot, nawawala na because what does that happen for the future and defense na nakalata? Yan yung sinasabi mo pinito? Yes, but the barometer of uh, Val David, the 7 wins of Gordon Jim, ang average siya 11.7. But the two losses, bumaba sa 8.5. So you notice that ito si Val David has to step up his offensive game and his contribution to the team when they win. Well, kung meron David barometer o David barometer, meron siguro din... Joe Las Thermometer, dahil pag umiinit itong mga mga ito, ang Alaska Milk is always ika nga in good hands. Eh? Ito yan, on fire ito si Joe Las Timosa. Well, mga kaibigan, sa ating Adidas Halftime Report, right after the second quarter, yung Super Hot Top CMMA winner, meron tayong feature dyan, at yung ating Adidas Street Ball Challenge, yung po lahat, yung matutong ngayon sa ating Adidas Halftime Report. Abangan niyo po yan. Samantala, only a minute and 40 remaining dito sa ating second quarter. Alaska Milk still holding on to a two-point lead. Marta, look at this shot in this game by Alaska. Of course, giving up the foul. Alam mo, the Hulk yung si Wilmer Rong. Talagang oh, yeah. pinakiyan na ng lahat ng mga nakapute. Nakatindig pa rin. One thing though, Wilmer Rong did not give up the basketball. Tried to force a shot. Lucky for him, nakakuha siya ng uh, foul from this scrambling Alaska defense. But that's the point that I was trying to say. No? Ang ganda ng execution at yung rotation ng defense ng, uh, ng Alaska in the half court. And they are taking away the jump shot of Gordon Jin. And uh, which is the reason kung bakit ang attacking ngayon ng uh, Gordon Jin is straight and strong to the hoop. They either go to the line on the foul or they get open for a layup. Pero ito si Vin Chison, for instance, makikita natin, hindi siya nakaka-score ng jump shot. Yung mga punto siya dito sa second court, yung layup. mga drive at layup. Oh. Ang Gordon Jean, tumatamasa ng uh, puntos mula sa kanilang uh, second unit o yung coming off the bench. Samantala may foul din sa pagpasa sa loob. Pushing foul, ika nga ni referee to Josh at ang katawagan ni Maki Di Hoya. Again, free throw shooting time. And this is where the penalty situation will hurt you. Gordon Jean giving up too many fouls. Second straight period that they go into the penalty. Foul in the middle, of course, to get the team to the line. Or Alaska rather to the line of Giorgio Lastimosa, about to capitalize. Pinagmamalaki ng Cagayan de Oro, si Giorgio Lastimosa, big night for him so far, 16 points. Dalawang beses naging miyembro ng Mythical Five back in 1991 and last year, 96, bumalik yan. si Dwight Lago, ay papasok muli dito sa laro natin. Parang nabanggit ng uh, Cagayan de Oro. Well, uh, I was talking this morning with uh, former PBA Commissioner Colonel Mariano Yenko. Hmm, ang sarap yung ganang uh, Yenko. Yes, oo. Oh. And uh, as I said, yeah, last month, he was able to get the honor to give a special award to probably the oldest living Philippine national athlete, Ramon Etienne, who's 90 years old. Uh -huh. uh, this award is a plaque of appreciation for his success. Daming punto sa loob, sa gitna ng Gordon Zink, yun ito. Yes. More than double. Yes, ito yung sinasabi natin, yung mga driving layup nila, they're not getting shot in some uh, deep engagement in the jumper. But uh, of course, it's... This must be a good sign for Coach Robert Jaworski. Dikit ang labanan, yet Marlo Aquino and Noli Loxin sitting on the bench, resting during their heels. Samadala si Maki Pihoya will pick up another foul. That will be number three on Big Mac. Laban kay Giorgio Lastimosa. Lastimosa has been getting away here. Muli po kami nagagalak na mga kasama kayo, Pilipinas, sa lahat ng ating mga kaibigan sa back in the south. Yan po sa Cebu City, sa Iloilo. 
And of course, si Davao, magandang magandang ibig po sa inyong lahat. Noli Yala po kasama si Kinito Henson and Gary Valenciano. Familiar face, hindi namang sa larangan ng pelikula, sa pagkanta. Hindi sa basketball din at sa panakasan. Enjoying this game. Alam mo, magaling na golfer din yan si Gary. Pagka na maganda niya kung makita natin si Martin Gilar dito. Ayan. Alam natin si Martin eh. Ayan. Pro Gordon. Nagsasama na minsan yan eh. Meron nga tao. Kansyaman siguro. Kansyaman. Team dalawa. Pero... Martin versus Gary Balenciano. Kapag itang kansyaman lang yun. Oo. Eh, yo! Dito na panahin ka na lang. Kapag nakakasit yung mga kasama nila. Oo, diba? Okay. 47-43 ang ating score. Abati ng apat ang Alaska Mills. Time winding down dito sa ating second quarter. Maki de Hoyas first stop. At may pito tayo na rin eh. Although medyo nalulunod na yan sa sound. Talakas ng hiyawan dito sa loob ng Conenta Asudong. Si Gordo Lastimosa ang tatawagan ng kanyang unang personal foul. A too late to help defense for Alaska. Post up move. Anchor down Maki de Hoyas. Lastimosa trying to front. Lap back. Reacted. On the line now for two free throws. Si Maki Di Hoya, mga kaibigan, produkto ng San Beda College. Played for, or was drafted by Shell back in 1991. Pero we named siya, naging rookie free agent para sa Ginebra San Miguel in 1992. And dyan po si Marlo Aquino. Nakaupo pa rin sa kanilang bench. He will probably not anymore re-enter, at least in the first half. At ang kanyang kapanan has kept close. Bagamat yung dalawa nilang superstar, Noli Luxin at Aquino ay nakaupo. Okay, dalawang malaking, uh, malalaking uh, player for Alaska now playing in tandem. We're talking Guinho and Brian Puntalan. Yes. Magreklamo si Coach Tim Kondo sa huli nilang uh, play na yun. Hindi siya ng foul. This is the two-point lead, 47-45. 18 seconds remaining sa shot clock ng Alaska Mets. Nasagip ni Potts or in the other ni Merwin Castello. Almost an errant pass. Brian Punsan already in the bogey. Piper, you really cannot miss anybody, everybody. He's not calling for the foul. Subsidy of Arimos. For a violation. Ito na si Baldabit. Getting a basket. At night of lang ating score. 47 all. Again, a situation like that. You ask the question. Should Baldabit have just killed the time for the last shot? He saw the opening and here's Brian Punsan. He just negated that shot. Oh. Baldabit. So, si Brian Poncelan muling binigyan ng abate ang uh, Alaska Milk, but this one has been close. Labing dalawang deadlock po tayo dito sa first half, and it's just a two-point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Well, coming up, mga kaibigan, sa ating adit, uh, isa sa mga bayani natin sa Olympics, si Anthony Villeneuve. At binigyan siya ng parangal dito po sa PBI that always recognizes uh, sports heroes. Sports heroes. Uh, inspiration yan. Eh. So, inspiration yan. Uh, and of course, a great source of national pride. Villeneuve losing a 3-2 split decision to the Russian Stanislav Tepaskin in the finals of the 1964 Tokyo Olympics for the featherweight gold medal. And mga kaibigan, alam po natin, Philippines has not won a gold medal in the Olympics yet. Who knows? Maybe in the year 2000, the Sydney Olympics, oh. doon tayo makakakuha ng ating uh, gintong medalya and Noli Loftin, very quiet in uh, the first half, scoring the first two points. He only scored four points in the first half and uh, hardly actually played. And this is coach uh, Robert Jaworski, parang tinitimpla din niyang uh, takbo ng laro eh. And uh, he's going for matchup, he's going for adjustment. Nung nakita niya si Bunga Hawkins, binigal laro. I think he's looking for the matchup, and now Hawkins is back, and so is Tony Lockton. Nai paing ana ni Bong Hawkins yung kanyang kapansana na si how he will fare out here in the second half. Just reviewing the lineup: Marlo Aquino, Tony Lockton, Vincenzon, Baldovito, si Will Merong na tapos nila para sa Jordan's Gym para sa mga nakapunte. Si Coach Wing na hindi napigil si Marlo Aquino. Kasama si Bong Hawkins, Johnny Abariantos, Dwight Lago, at si Jojo Lastimosa. Ayan po ang ating score, 51-0. Pag na mahirap na tira yun, Mario Aquino, of course, getting free from the baseline, but had to make a jump hook. Dwight Lago getting free from his man, taking it from medium range over the outstretch arm of Mario Aquino. Partner doing a lot of damage here on Gordon's chin is also Johnny Abariantos, who now has 14 points. Kamatala, isa na naman basket mula kay Marlo Aquino, humihingi pa ng foul, natapik tayo yung kanyang goggles. And it's a tight ball game mga kaibigan, 53 all, 10 and a half remaining in the third quarter. 
Mukhang nagtatrabaho na ito si Marlo Aquino. Oh. Looks like uh, they are now going to the main option who is the big man inside. 14 puntos ang skyscraper. Samantala, pasa ni Hawkins. Samantala, narito ngayon si, po, si Noli Loxin. Pinigay kay Vin Tizan. Easy layup for Vince Supreme. At abate na muli ang Gordon Jin. 55 to 53. Again, the running attack of uh, Gordon Jin. Ito si Vin Tizan has really blossomed. Yes. As one of the best finishers of the break in the PBA. Alam mo maganda kay Vin Tizan. Maganda yung kanyang uh, harurot. At saka yung kanyang lipad. Eh. Meron siyang lipad. And then he knows when to bigang a pull up or uh, and or go strong to the basket. And that's the reason why Ben Tizan has been a bigang a darling dito sa Gordon's Gym. Kapag siyad, buo din ang loob niya, no? Uh, if you notice, some of uh, the penetrators of the layup arches of PBA, when they go up strong and they know that they're going to be challenged, they either look down on the floor or they don't look at the basket, they look away from the opponent because parang uh, natatakot silang masaktan. Pero ito si uh, um, uh, Ben Tizan, when he goes up for the layup, buo ang loob. Yeah, he looks straight at the basket, and uh, you know that he plays with a lot of guts. It's a very little known fact because Vin Tizan actually played for an NBA division once. Oh, the Boise State. Boise State. Oh, the battle of the Will Merong. Ngayon ang kinirahan sa ni Jojo Lastimosa. Ngayon naman, pinawi niya yung puntos. He's taking on Jojo Lastimosa finito. And that matchup obviously can go either way, depending on where you're looking at it. Well, definitely Jojo Lastimosa gagalit siya ng pilit against Will Merong. And Bob Hawkins, again, finding the opening inside with Milo Aquino outside. And Vin Tizan won. Small, but he will go to the line. Natagasya ni Jojo Lastimosa. Lastimosa ay natagap na kanyang kalawang personal foul. Parker, they're leaving that lane free no, for Vin Tizan. We're talking of Gordon's uh, offensive formation. That's a very, very strong side for Vin Tizan. Driving strong to the hole, left side of the basket. Ito ang numero niya. Grabe. Tremendous story for this young man. Parker, yeah. Fullerton, California. Yan ang pinagmula niya si Ben Season. Alam mo, nagdadala daw siya ng mga tapes niya sa sa kanyang mga magulang. And he has certainly blossomed in this league. Well, his statistics, no? Back in the U.S., he averaged actually 89% free throw shooting in Cypress Junior College in California. He went to school at Mater Dei High School. He went to Boise State. And Jose Lastimosa is still down on the floor. Even Tiza na tinawagan na foul. Pero parang merong tumama kay Jose Lastimosa. Nagpula kay Wilbur. Panawagin natin nito. Natapikin ni Ivian ang foul. But then there's another attempt from Wilbur Ong to stop Lastimosa. Medyo tumaplis ng konti. Tinawagan ng technical foul. Ito si Wilbur Ong. Well, there was a second motion in the part of Wilbur Ong. And he knew it. Whether by instinct or not, there was a hack, and that had to be called by the referee. But you also saw the earlier foul of Vin Tizan slapping the arm of Jorge Lasimos. Sabi si Guri ni Jorge. Ako kasi dinadriban mo sa kabila eh. Ako naman ang magdadrive niyo. And Jorge Lasimos, thinking the technical reason of that foul, a technical foul rather, slap on Wilbur Ong. Ito na ngayon ang regular free throws niya. On account of that strong drive to the hoop. And big numbers once more for Jolat. Yep, tumigot-tigot, tumasok mga kaibigan. Si Jojo Lastimosa. Franz Kirian, ang palang sa Pure Foods originally. Pero has found a tremendous home dito sa Alaska. Marami niya, marami siyang ikang of fans. In this quarter, si Jojo Lastimosa has scored a total of... Five points already. Dalawang putatlong putos na ang kabuuan si Jojo Lastimosa. Tabati po ang Alaska ng isa 60 to 59. Pati lang kanina nung binigit sa natin about sa Cornell Yeso. Napagit pa natin ang pangalan ng national athlete na yun. Napagit po. Oh, napagit po. Ramon Elchia. You'll read all about it in the Philippines card book. Ayan, sige. Panoorin na ba? Pagkahin natin yan. Pamatala si Marlo Aquino naman. Mga kaibigan, namamayan is sa gitna. At huy, medyo nagkakaroon ng konting kulay. Our partner, Wilmer Ong, is having a difficult time trying to keep pace with Jojo Lastimosa. Ang nangyayari dyan, kung si Jojo Lastimosa is going to post up, definitely he will be overpowered by Wilmer Ong. Pero kung si Jojo Lastimosa, of course, he's a smarter player than that. Kanya gagamit siya ng bilis against Wilmer Ong. As you take a look at this move, again, Jojo Lastimosa, 
Oh, that time he tried to force a jump shot. Hindi siya makakatira ng jump shot kung malaki ang kalapan niya. He has to drive against Wilmer. Oh, hindi niya napakagatos ang kick na yun. Luxie, tuloy-tuloy sa basket. Yes, the basket. May kasama pang foul. Pastor, ito si Noli Luxie. Huh? That's why he scored at times. Walang open court situation, but he create the open court situation for himself. Watch this play, mga kaibigan. Tuloy-tuloy to from a rebound. Dire-direcho siya. And how sweet it is para sa tangke. Noli Luxin, barreling drive. May kasama pang foul ay tinawag. Laban kay Wong Hawkins, number one on the Hawk. Partner, good recognition of the defense. Nakita ni Noli Luxin na nadaanan ng si Wong Hawkins. So, Wong Hawkins is probably the number one intimidator in the Alaska defense. When he realized that Hawkins was behind, behind him, sabi niya, eh, sino ang magwardi sa akin? Si Kevin Ramos? Kayang-kaya ko. Kayang-kaya ko. Samantala, si Johnny Abarieto si hiling ng isang uh, timeout. Ang ating pong palaan, 64 ang Gordon Jean, 60 ang Alaska Bill. Kami babalik. Katawan, time for Alaska. Also for rheumatism and arthritis. Even for toothaches. Welcome back, Philippines. Ito pa sa loob ng Cuneta Astrodome. Ang ating pong score, 64 to 60. Si Commissioner Drew Bernardino. At saka si Ricky Menezes na sa kanyang kaliwa. Yes. Aha. Ano mo kaibigan? Enjoy the PBA game. Okay. Ito naman. Ang Marientos. Oy! Sinirahan si... Pagdamit. Oo. Ano mo, sa dami ng pituwin dito, kinito sa loob ng Cuneta Astrodome. Medyo nakakahilo na talaga at... Hindi lamang yung mga uh, talagang nakikita, yung mga visible VIPs. Pero yung lahat ng nasa dito talagang uh, very animated and good season. Getting a jump shot, triple V conversion for that event season. He didn't get good angles for the jump shot in first half. Pero ito si Jojo Lastimosa, maybe a little tired, giving him the opportunity to score from three-point range. Oh, oh si Dwight Lago! Mainit ito si Dwight Lago. Oh, oh. Tapa to. Si Dwight Lago, mga kaibigan, may walong puntos na. Apat na gawa niya dito sa third quarter. And in basing in his last performance, laban sa Gordon, he only had four points. Sa matala, back-to-back basket mula kay Ben Season, a total of 14 para kay Hizon. Parker, mainit ito si Ben Season. Dapat siguro, tikita nito ng depensa. And Jojo Lastimosa, that would be the big challenge on his part. Oh, yes. Oh. Hindi maganda yung pasa ni Dwight Lago. Straight into the hands of Man Lokino. Noli Lokin! Pumarang ka pa! Wala! Rebound! Wilmer Ong! Yes! Wilmer Ong! Wilmer Ong! Using his hip! His foot! To get the offensive rebound and the putback! 7.4 game. Abante po ang Bors. Laban sa Milkman. Labanan ang dalawa sa pinakamainit na kuponan dito sa All Filipino Cup so far. Abarientos, laban si Valdevin. Abarientos still, binigay kay Ramas. Just touch the basket. May kasama pang foul this time from Wilmer Ong. That's the value of playing a screen role play. He almost had the shot through the double team. Ito, kita natin yung double team. Ganda ng process. Yes. Talaga. Sabi niya, kung ito double team niyo ako, hahanap naman ako ng kukuha ng pasa ko. Pinadaan sa gitna ng uh, halos apat na kamayon. Uh, si Kevin Ramos is on the scoreboard. He gets the three-point play. Parker, at natapias ang abate ng Gordon sa apat. Kinito. Well, in that particular play, it was Marlo Aquino who went out to double on uh, Johnny Barrientos. Kanya nakawala ito si Kevin Ramos. So yung defensive rotation ng uh, Gordon Chief, a little suspect. Pero ito si Vincito again going from triple D range. He's on fire! Vincito on pangalawang triple V. Seven points in a row. At si, or rather, eight points na nakukuha niya na dito. And he has a total of 18 points in the ballgame. Sa mandala si Wilmer Wong, tatanggap ng kanyang foul pang apat na dito sa third quarter. JV Gayoso checking in para kay Wilmer Wong at si Poch Rino replacing Kevin Ramos. A good move on the part of Coach Tim Cohn. He always wants a fresh body on Marlo Aquino. Sabi siguro niya, okay lang, pagkirahan tayo sa labas si Vince Season, but he doesn't want to give up easy points from the inside to Marlo Aquino, which is the reason why he needs always a fresh big man on the floor to defend against Marlo. Foul si Paul David sa pag-drive ni Johnny Abarietos. Nasa penalty na po ang Gordon's Gin, ang Alaska only with two team fouls. Uh, Tupunta sa linya si Flying A, Johnny Abarientos. Patra, third straight quarter. 
in penalty situation on Gordon Jim. This has been the big problem. Giving up free throws, it's almost like you're beating yourself when you give up free throws on the penalty to the other side. Too many fouls by Gordon Jim. And in fact, in the first half, in a half-time analysis, 10 free throws by Alaska, only six for Gordon Jin, and Alaska was ahead by two at the turn. 17 points for Johnny Abariantos. Last time they met, a club put isang ibinuhos ni Flying A. He was the other vital card who's a one-two punch, scoring punch at that time in victory ng Alaska. Back in March 2, Samantala may illegal dean at the tower. And this is Vin Teaser in action, mga kaibigan. He's on fire. Deadly in and out. All net. Vin Teaser, a total of 18 points in the ballgame for against the Prince. Okay, Vin Teaser, 4 out of 4 field goals for partner. Umabit siya ng screen set up by Noli Loxin so that he could escape the defense of Giorgio Lastimosa in hitting that outside bomb. Yan ang teamwork. Yan ang nakikita natin na bagong teamwork na pinapakita ng Gordon's Gin dito sa All Filipino Gorsons. Which is the reason why they are now leading the league in terms of total number of wins. They're playing more as a team and they're helping each other out. Nagkakaroon na sila ng cohesion that was kulang pa ng konti lang season. Do you see na sabi pag uh, naglaro ka ng medyo matagal na together, obviously that's gonna work. Win season picking up the loose ball. He's all alone. Hey! Itatak-tak sana na pitawan ng bola. It hit the ring. And that will go out for Alaska. Oh, what a shocker. Vin Tison, it was a three-on-zero break. And Vin Tison apologizing to the bench and his teammate. Ano rin natin ito? It happened. It happened. Oh, yun, nabitawa, no? Nabitawa ng bola. Itadaktak sana ni Vin Tison and uh, he apologized it. You know, it you're happened. only human. It happened. Hindi naman yung kamay niya, eh. kamay ni Shaquille O'Neal. Well, partner, makita natin ito si Vin Tison. Pumukul ng dalawang three-pointer. Ang napakahirap na three-pointer. But uh, an inside shot on a dunk, he missed. So, <laughs> siguro you give that to him, to Minsan. Hindi naman araw-araw Pasko, ikaw nga. Oo. So, Sorry, Pasko, that was a 3 on 0 fast break. Goes baseline, good break, gets up. And Gordon Zinn on a rampage. Dumatagundang po ang Gordon Zinn Boers. Abante sila ng siyam na puntos. And Gordon Lastimosa has a cut. Maybe on his forehead, Pinito, hindi natin nakita yung aksyon kung paano niya nakuha yan. Giorgio Lastimosa is bleeding for a partner. One thing very evident in this game, Bong Hawkins, very anemic on both ends. So sa tingin ko ito si Bong Hawkins is not playing 100%. Alright, katawag ng full time up ito, ng Alaska Milk. We're still checking on this, but in the meantime, si Giorgio Lastimosa... And the cut on his forehead. Tignan natin. Pero ito ang pangyayari ito. After the trick, pagangat niya, tinulak. Oo, oh, tumama yung kamay. Ni Noli Luxin sa noo. Ito si Giorgio Lastimosa. Actually, may tumulak kay Giorgio Lastimosa. Kita-kita yun sa ating slow-mo replay. There was someone who pushed him towards Noli Luxin, which is the reason why there was a collision. So that was an injury timeout. The panic ng Alaska Milk. And uh, we'll take that from another angle, Tinito, para makita natin exacto kung ano nangyari dito. Good yes, make. hit. And coming on strong. And there was the push. Ito to. Boom. There. That forearm, or rather the elbow of Jolly Lockton, catching the eyebrow of uh, Jorge Lastimosa. Because he was pushed from behind by J. Dugayosa. Oh, oh, it's not the mark. Ito ang hockey standards. He caught Srinio para sa putback. Setting down Gordon's lead to seven. Obviously, the momentum dito pinito is on the part of Gordon Sin oh, right now. Without a doubt, because they're shooting well from the outside. They're penetrating. They're scoring also well from the inside. And uh, Donnie Lock Sin. Yung big gap kasi ng uh, Gordon Sin na dito na, no? So they have so many offensive options. If you notice, Alaska, not double team. It's not a coach of double team. Precisely because patami ng mga gunners oh. of Gordon's on the floor. Isa niyan sa mga ganador, pero may offensive foul dito si Mario Aquino. Binangga niya si Pot Trino. And Marlo Aquino picking up his first foul. That will. Oh, and Dampo Natin and Gordon Slim already in the penalty. Ang Alaska, dalawang team foul palamang. 350 remaining dito sa ating third quarter. Partner Aquino called for the offensive foul. I don't know whether. Uh, I'm not too sure about that call because uh -huh. uh, that defense was not established. There was contact, but the defense of Coach Nino was not established because Marlo Aquino was going to drive over to an open lane. Pero talaga, isa na namang contested call. Baldovic, tinawagan ng foul. 
laban kay Johnny Abariantos. They are in the penalty. Ang Bors and so the Abariantos boy mapapadala po ulit sa free throw line. Sunny Jaworski has piloted this team very well at uh, itong record nila na 7-2 and two is actually their best start in so many years so far dito sa All Filipino Cup. Samantala, Johnny Abariantos at the free throw line. 1996 MVP. At si Alvarillo, babalik sa laro, papalitan si Val David, ang ating pong score. Ani mga bata ng Gordon's Gin, tatlong minuto, apat na pong saglit ang nalalabi sa ating ikatlong chapter. Muli po kami natutuwa mga kaibigan na makasama kayo. Noliya na po kasama si Kinito Henson para sa main game. Kanina po sa ating first game, nagwagi ang Pure Food Scorn Beef Cowboys. Laban sa Mobiline Cellulars, 82-80. At nung naging uh, player of the game, si Ray Evangelista with 16.9 boards. So, Newport climbs to score their second at 6-4. and four. Samantala, ang uh, Alaska Bills is right now in solo third. Alvarillo, three-point shot. Wala, rebound, right lago. Just a five-point lead. Tumabalik ang mga nakapute. Bob Hawkins. Laban sa mas malitan kayo, so pumasok sa loob at may offensive foul ay katawag laban kay Poch Wino. Bumayata ng gigil doon si Poch Wino, called for the offensive foul. And previously it was Marlo Aquino who was called for yes. the offensive foul on uh, Poch Wino. Partner, siguro we have to make the observation. Coach Robert Tewerski hindi pa naglalaro sa laro nito. Okay. And he has sat down only, or sat out only one game the entire conference so far. Rebound and a putback coming from this young man, Steve Vigayoso. Average lamang yan, 1.6 boards per game, but that is a big one. At muli ng mga tangabante ng Gordon Zin sa pito, 79-72, 2.40 remaining sa third. But the Alvarillo is playing a different kind of defense now on Johnny Abarieto. There's the switch, and there's the mismatch. Five seconds sa kanilang shot clock, inilapas si Abarieto. Three-point shot, by 10. Loose ball, napulot ni Boyd Fernandez. And there will be another foul given up by Gordon. Another opportunity for Alaska to score points from the line. Too many fouls. Indeed, a seven-point lead ang abante ng Gordon Sheen. May timeout po tayo. In Paddock, the official team of the PBA. Seven-point ball game at yung uh, Alaska Milk, mga kaibigan. Yan ang kanilang Alaska turnaround points surrendered. At ika nga yan ang kinagraan ng nilapot ka. Yan ang magumero. Totoo yan. For Alaska, the last three wins... They have held their opponents to only 72.3 points, no? And uh, dyan nakikita natin ang defensive orientation ng Alaska. In the first four games, they gave up 91.5. Pero ang laka ng binaba, no? In terms of points surrendered. Pero partner, tignan natin ang score ngayon ng Gordon's Gin. Already scored 79 points. So that's over the 72-point yes. limit that Alaska has been allowing in its last three wins. Kanya, this is not a good sign for Alaska. Parang nangyayari dito. It's become a shootout. And this is the kind of game that Gordon likes to Ito na naman, second season, this time, supply ang tira. Ang Alaska Milk is number two in terms of lowest field goal percentage allowed to teams dito sa PBA. They have lived and died with their offer, their defense. So, pilot dito nga, ikang ano yung kinito, nakikipagsabayan sila pagdating sa opensa. May foul si Teroy Aparillo dun sa spin ni Aparientos. Gordon is spin in the penalty dito sa third quarter very early at babalik sa free throw line si Johnny Aparientos. More free throws here for, uh, for Alaska. Napakarami ng free throws Alam mo, ito na pinibigay ng Gordon's Gym sa Alaska. You talk about free throws. Nung huli sila nagtakbo back in March 2, ang Alaska was given 30 free throws by Gordon's Gym. They made 22 all in all. At malaking bagay yan sa isang kuponan na uh, katulad ng Alaska na gustong ipahinga yung kanilang mga starters. Totoo yan. And of course, uh, every free throw that uh, they are given by Gordon Jin is a chance for them to widen the gap if they're on the lead. And also, putting uh, a lot of foul pressure on the Gordon Jin players who are committing those personal. Lead has been sliced to three of that free throw ni Gianni Aparento. Si Dilabas, Marlo Aquino. Mas malit at tumatao. Pinabanta niya. Wala. Rebound ni Poch Wino. A minute and 43. A little bit of a half-court trap here being employed by uh, Alaska. Putting some defensive pressure now on uh, Gordon's chin. Pinakamalaking kalamangan mga kaibigan. Siyam na puntos. Gordon's chin. Bong Hawkins tumira sa labas. Tumalog. Labas. 
Tapi napunta sa kamay ni Pochwino. At puntik ng sipahe ni Tim si Pochwino. Kaya tinawagan na nga ng automatic violation si Pochwino. Fighter, Bong Hawkins struggling in this game. Yes. We suspect that he is hurt because of some back problems. Six points so far. Partner, only four players in the entire PBA have scored double figures in all of their games so far. Asaitono, Patrimonio, Marlo Aquino, who now has 16, and Bob Hawkins. So Bob Hawkins may not be able to continue being in this elite circle of four double-figure scorers if he does not go into twin digits in this game. So far, only six points for Hawkins. Ginawagan pa ng foul si Bong Hawkins is a huling attack ni Dolly Olofsin. And Bong Hawkins picking up his second personal foul. Well, we saw in the last last Sunday, si Beren Menezes went scoreless for the first time in his career. Yes, Pacola was. Oh, and another one in Pacola. Great time for uh, Pacola. And it was the Benny Cheng. He had a good first half. And it is a kanyang tira dito sa third quarter. Amarientos. Katangkay pang pagkasin ng mabate. Hawkins, libre sa tabi. Masyado malakas. He's really feeling his time. But you can see that last is trying to set up Bong Hawkins because they want him to get his offense on track. Drawing the defense in season. Yung pasa niya. Nakuha ni Bong Hawkins. Lago ngayon. 38 seconds remaining. Dwight Lago, nabitawan ng dribble. And Alvarillo looking up at the clock. Walang uh, tigil-tigil dito. Kanya-kanyang pangat. Minti sa tira sa labas. Hawkins with another rebound. And they will opt to take the last shot here. Okay, this is something that Gordon did not do the last two quarters. Oh. But padali sila. They could have taken the last shot. Particularly at the end of the first half. When Valdivid uh, put up a jumper, pumasok na. But uh, Alaska, he gave it up by seeking a shot with time running out. Ito na naman si Bob Fernandez. Plus, Mintis. Rebound. Only looks in. Two seconds remaining. Binato niya over the basket. At ito pong ikatlong yun to ay history. But what a ball game it's been. It's been very close. Gordon's gin. Abansi pa rin po ng tatlong puntos. We'll be back for the final quarter after these. The International Award for Excellence. Libo-libo po ang tao dito sa loob ng Cuneta Aslodo at hindi naman sila pinoprostrate na itong dalawang kuponan. They fought tooth and nail in this ball game at ito po ay tatlong puntos na kalamangan lamang sa pagkapasimula ng fourth quarter. Muli magandang kami Pilipinas. Noli yan ang po kasama si Ginito Henson in a big third quarter para sa Gordon's Gin. Yes, and it's been action-packed all the way, ah, right from the opening quarter. Now, the big question is, will Bong Hawkins explode or not? Hawkins is sitting down on the bench. You know that he's hurting, but Boyet Fernandez has tied the score. Dalawang triple V na si Boyet Fernandez. At naitabla niya muli ang ating talaan. 79 all. This is already our 18th deadline at Lusot to this season. Para siyang pagaling ito sa this season. You give him the opportunity, you give him the open space, he'll drive in and go oh. to the hole. Ganadong ganado yung uh, umama, no? Oh, what a move! Abarientos almost got the basket. But I had to change his shot because of the good defense by uh, Gordon Jim. Ano yun? Traveling ang tinawag. Yeah. Laban kay Noli Loxin. Medyo nagpagali ito si Noli Loxin. You know, it's been very close. At mukhang uh, both coaches have prepared for this one. Pero obviously sa huli may bibigay dito. Ano ang magiging uh, igang asulti dito kinito? Well, uh, I think Jorge Lastimosa will really have to step up. No? At saka si Johnny Abarentes, you know that he's the go-to guy at this stage because wala si Lastimosa, wala si Hawkins on the floor. So, sino kaya ang bibigay? Now, of course, you know that the key men of the order are Hale and Hartley. And they've got three gunners on the floor. And we're talking Pizor, Nolly Longsin, and Marlo Aquino. So, more offensive firepower on the combination of Gordon Jim at this stage than Alaska. But then, as we said in the pre-game, what's important here is Alaska to play tough defense. Well, wala yung tough defense na yun. Si Nolly Longsin nakadasit muli. At abante ulit ang Gordon's Jim, 83 to 81. Oh, may pano si Terry Alvarillo away from the ball. Alvarillo, acknowledging the foul. Uh, pangatlong foul yan, ni Alvarillo. Partner, baptism of fire ito para ngayon si Alvarillo. Although hindi yan uh, bagito, pero ah, ano rin yan, pero siyempre iba yung pagka, uh, ang palaro mo na, kasama ng uniform mo, yung Gordon's Gym. At saka, this is his first game in the season. Oo. Oh. You know that Johnny Abarillo has been able to pick up the scoring sometime in this game. Noel Gomez, three points up, matay! 
doing a jig oh. and hitting that triple D. He liked that. Back to back baskets para que Ruel Gomez liman puntos for the rifleman of Alaska. At abante na muli ang Alaska Mills ng isa, 84-83. At this time, may foul si Boyd Fernandez. Oh, kita mo yan, si Coach Tim Boyd. Hindi po siya nagkabasal, although si Mana Sasanat. Panahon na ng Holy Week. <laughs> Pero, nakapractice ng uh, lumakad ng paluhod ito. Kung makikita niya yung bench niya, dalawang player niya, nakahiga naman. Doon sa kanilang, uh, tabi ng kanilang bench. And obviously, Bong Hawkins is feeling the pain dinito. I think so. And also, Kevin Ramos, uh, playing sterilely in this game. He's also oh, down on the floor. So, it looks like Ramos is from his bone hurting. Bone from back problem. Oh. Samantala si Raul Gomez, eh, si Ambassador Raul Goko, yeah. Ambassador to Canada of the Philippines, enjoying this game, Suki yan, dito sa PBA, pamula pa ng Solicitor General yan, si Ambassador Goko. Samantala, bad pass si Teroy Alparillo, one point lead para sa Alaska Milk, kumorma ng Tresi Gomez. And they will set it up, dalawang point guard na naglalaro para sa Alaska Milk right Actually, now. They have a three guard combination on the floor, very quick combination, lots of firepower from the outside. Talking about Offensive foul ang itawag kay Benny Cheng and now Gordon's beginning to collapse. Mukhang nagkakalagay na ng Gordon Skid. Well, again, Coach Robert Chiborski trying to create a mismatch or get Benny Cheng to exploit the advantage in the mismatch and as a result forgetting that he has Vin Pison, Marlo Aquino, and Noli Loctin on the floor. Oh. Those are his three main offensive options, not Benny Cheng. Johnny Abariento sa mga kaibigan, bihirang tumira ng press, but when he takes one, he's deadly. 71% from that area, 5 out of 7 tonight, 1 out of 1. At si Noli Loctin ngayon ang nagdadala ng bola, they're down by 4. Marlo Aquino, masyado malapit na sa basket, but he does not get the, the roll. Marlo Aquino, wala pa rin, tapik pa rin, bumasok para kay Benny Cheng. That time they went to Marlo Aquino, didn't get the shot, but because he was deep in low, and you know that Noli Loctin is dead, you will possibly get the offensive rebound, and they did, they got the put back, because of their big high advantage. Foul given up by Hizon on that drive to Danny Abarientos. Pangapat na yan ni Hizon. Si Abarientos muling papalik sa free throw line. So again, itong combination ni Coach Tim Cohn throwing off the defense. Dahil mukhang yung akala mong mismatch yung Hizon laban kay Abarientos. Napatransform ng Alaska into a mismatch in favor of Alaska. That's true. And of course, yung quickness factor. And that is the big advantage of Alaska at this stage. It's a matter of going to your strength and exploiting the weakness of the mo, no? Ito naman Gordon Jim. I think what they want to do now is to take advantage of the fact that they have a Loxin and an Aquino playing together. And they need to get them played to a place where they are most dangerous. Again, another big game para kay Johnny Abariento. 26 points for the little man. At abante na po ang Alaska Milk ng apat. 8.08 remaining to final quarter. Benny Cheng, jump shot. Yes! Coming from Benny Cheng. That's a big bonus also for Gordon Jin. 12 points in the game para kay Benny Cheng. Samantala, another foul. Ang itatawag laban kay Val David. Pang lima na yan ni Val David. 13 foul ng Gordon Jin. At ayun na, ayun na ang ating Mazda PBA winning drives promo, big cash prizes buong buwan, plus isang Mazda P2500 pickup, ang ipamimigay sa Grand Royce, patang lamang sa screen, ang Mazda pickup or Mazda power van sa bawat PBA game, ilagay sa entry form, uh, matatagpuan sa Mazda Playcard, at talintan yung FMT dealer. For more details, pasahin ang posters and print ads. Another foul, labat kay Ben Season, pang lima na yan, partner, dalawang key players, Season and uh, David with five personal fouls. Well, David is now uh, moving out in favor of J.B. Gayoso. That's bad news for Coach uh, Robert Jaworski. Now, Season is now being assigned to Johnny Abariento. With Season started with five personal fouls, siguro naman, alam mo na kung sino ang titira dito. Abariento, Na double team ni Dolly Loctin, inilabas niya, binitawa ng bola, binigay kaya Parietos. Laban si Marlo Aquino. Napasa niya, atulog. 11 seconds. And another foul on Vince Pizzo. He's out of here. What 
a big blow. The fighting on board of Jay, you need to. Back to back fouls. He's on gambling on that play. He thought he was going for a steal and a fast break. And Vince Hison now walks out. Ito panuri natin. Oh, sumabit ng konti. Yes. Yeah. There yeah. was contact. Definitely there was contact. And he could not control his momentum. He was going for the steal. Ang laki niyan. Malaking bagay ito. In favor of Alaska, oh. Vince Hison has been scoring so well on drives to the basket in challenging the interior defense of Alaska. At saka yung mga pukul niya from three-point range. So si Vince Season, uupo na po permanente for this game. 21 points, 2 rebounds. Pero napakaaga, 7 and 34 na nakuha niya ang kanyang kaanin na personal foul. Parker, Season's absence here can either demoralize Gordon Jim or fire up his teammates. Because ang kanyang pagkawala, this will of course give reason for the other Gordon players to step up and try to win one for their heart and soul. Wala ni Bakong this game. Turn around and bang it on. Noli Lokin. Four shot. Four point lead. Boyd Fernandez. And they will slow it again. Abarientos. Laban kay J.V. Galloso. Inigot ang bola. Coach Winyo. Five seconds. Saka din ang shot lock. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn Coming from the blind side. Beautiful move by Milo Aquino. Nice block of Coach Wiener. Noy Lokin, hinarap si Dwight Lago. He goes up, does not get the basket. So, balik nakakatanggap siya ng foul mula kay Dwight Lago. Number three on Lago. Now, remember, Gordon Skin now in the penalty with five team fouls. Ito pa nung natin. He had on the blind side. Milo Aquino finding the right angle. Actually, Marlo Aquino was caught in a mismatch and dwarfed in a good salabas. It's Hany Abarieto. Oh. But he had the presence of mind to know that Poch Mino, realizing that he too also was on the big end of a mismatch, was going to take the shot. At yun yung sinasabi natin kinito na dalawang injury ah. ng uh, Alaska Melter. Ang top by four, babalik po kami. Rubbing alcohol. The official rubbing alcohol of the PBA. Partner natin sa kalusugan. Neither team is led by more than 9 points. Ito pa sa larong ito. Nagkaroon ng putain ng labing siyam na tabla. At uh, ika nga, ito pong larong ito has been very, very close. As promised, dahil itong dalawang kupunan na ito, hoping, hoping for a big, big win na makapagsutulak sa kanilang kampanya. Ito sa All Filipino Cup. Nakuha ni Noli Luxin, 1 out of 2 from the line. Upang kapkasi ng abante ng Alaska sa taplo, 91 to 88. Yan po na nalaming oras. A fighter for Robert Jaworski and Fulton. Against Johnny Abrientos and Abrientos has eaten up one defender after another. This time he ate up Jay Vigayos' defense. 28 points para kay Johnny Abrientos. He had 31 the first time they met. Benny Cheng. Off the glass, another basket. 14 puntos na si Benny Cheng. Kinito. Was the first contributor in offense, but he really has to pick up the slack now that Vin Tison has. Uh, been disqualified on six personal fouls. But this problem is that it's a man. Yes, Jario Barrientos has been virtually unstoppable this year. He's calling out the play. He's the go-to man. And remember, he's still on the bench. Oh, that's a good one. Jario Barrientos. Very bad decision. Yes. Panic ni Gayoso. Sinagipan niya yung ball ng yun. At naubusan niya ng oras sa kanilang shot clock. Let's see the ruling. And then, Tito Mama sa ring attack. Well, Coach Tim Tony is saying that that shot clock should have been reset to 24. We had the same call before. Sinasabi ni Tim Tony na nahawakan na daw ng dalawang kamay ni J.B. Gayoso yung bola. But Michael Gordon's chin was not in control of the situation. Now, what is going to be the call here? It will remain with Alaska Milk and the shot clock has been reset. Reset. And now it's uh, Gordon's Jin turn Go! to complain. Sa tingin ko, that uh, ball was not in control uh -huh. of Gordon's Jin, no? And, well, uh, talong pa dito kay Nito kung tumama dun sa ring. Meron mukhang from our angle, hindi tumama. Oh, hindi, oh. oh. Nonetheless, bola po ng alas na kayo. Tatlong abate, abate nila. 5 and 20 remaining. Ang puso yata ni Coach Tim Don was that uh, the fact that uh, J.B. Gayoso 
put the ball in play. Yes, sir. This team would have had some kind of control of the ball. And a big break by the Alaska Milk. Triple V, Malapia, Dwight, Lago. And this is the biggest lead on Alaska Milk. Six points, 96 to 90. Parker coming off that crucial call made by the referee to give Alaska another possession. Nabitawan pa ni Mario Aquino. 4.50 remaining. Alaska now gaining momentum at saka yung control ng uh, tempo dito nasa Alaska. Pasa sa loob, nabitawan naman ni Dwight Lago. Nauna si Terry Alvarillo. Four on two break. But Alvarillo missing the shot pero may fun na maratanggap pula kay Ruel Gomez. Pasa, that's when Ruel Gomez misses the services of a bit. He's oh. in a fast break of pursuit oh. like that. Alvarillo forced to try to make the finish. Couldn't get the layup. Nabokin ito ang uh, Gordon's Genius 5 and 4 na dito sa All Filipino Cup at sila'y umaabante o tapla after 3 quarters. They were on top after 3 by 3.7976. Sibalik yun, sila ay isang na nakahapon na limang puto. Stronger's man Hermia Aquino ng Tarlac. Also enjoying the game. Kaya na magkit natin, napakarami pong bituin at mga VIP. Ito sa loob ng Coneta Astrodome, Las Timosa, back in harness. And Ciel Barillo makes both free throws. Uh, this is going to be another headache for Gordon Jim. When he comes to Silas Timosa, he's going to be in the fourth quarter. He's going to be usually a close in the fourth period. Aparientos is doing a good job. Now, Mary Satulo, a play foul pass by Jim Vigayoso. Aparientos will go to the strike. Another two-point opportunity here. The penalty is going to be for Gordon Jim. The penalty is going to be Ito, partner, ang uh, diferensya in free throws, it's a 10-point margin enjoyed by Alaska in terms of free throw conversion. It could be 12 to my pass to Johnny Abarieto to the two teams. Ayan si Anthony Villanueva, 1964 Tokyo Olympic silver medalist, featherweight division in boxing. Si Bal David, babalik sa laro, he has five personal fouls. Alam mo, Gordon Swinkin ito, who has been in the penalty, in every quarter dito sa larong ito. The marker ay lahat ng Gordon Jr. to the start club. And Valdebid, re-entry into the game, could spark this uprising of coach Robin G. Worth is hoping for. Time is slowly running out, 4-12 to go. Good pass. And the lead is down to 4, 98 to 94. Subalit ang alas kami ng kamay dala ng bola. Apat na minuto na nalabi sa ating basketball game. This is far from over. Abarientos, laban kay J.B. Gayoso. Hindi pa nila nakipigilan si Abarientos. Lago lead din na naman. This time it's a miss. Aquino with the rebound. At may loose ball foul, laban kay Paul Suino. And that will now put Alaska in the penalty. Now the situation First, becomes interesting. First time na pupunta sa penalty. Itong Alaska mil. Parker, big shot there for Dwight Lago taking it from the outside from the double team on Johnny Abarientos. But good trick employed by Gordon's Jin because ang, uh, ang tahilang kung bakit nila didobble si Johnny Abarientos, they wanted him to give up the ball. They oh. both want the ball in Johnny Abarientos' hands. Benny Ting. Pumasok sa loob. Yes, the basket. Make a sama for foul. And it's been Benny Ting, Kinito, the surprise man off the bench. Para kay Sonny Jaworski, a total of 18 points. Para kay, or 16 points para kay Benny Cheng, ang kanyang career high has been 18, so he's only a field goal away from his career high, and what a game para sa dating Mapua Cardinal. Benny Cheng could prove to be the angel here. Offensive rebound, wala pa rin. Tapitan, naglaba na ng dalawang matakampo. Loose ball, picked up by Juan Fernandez. Gets the ball, Mariano. He may have traveled. A big basket from Boya Fernandez. Never lost his wit. Kept his voice. And a shot. Oh, and what a game. <laughs> Back to a four-point lead for Alaska. Under three minutes to play. This is going to be a hard finish. And another game. Oh! Yes, I'll be Watch it again from another angle. It's a bread and butter play tonight. Using the handle, gets the foul, gets the basket. 
uh, promoters of Linea, the skyscraper, Patrese Benny Cheng, was the one who issued that assist to Milo Aquino. Same play as in the previous sequence where Gordon Jin went to Milo Aquino, driving from the open take line. 20 points for Milo Aquino. Pero hindi pa siya nakakuha ng puntos mula sa free throw line. His third attempt, wala pa rin. Shoot! Rebound to Tony! Look deep on the Mexicala! Just a field goal separating both clubs. Both teams now in the penalty. Tumawag ng timeout. A 20 second timeout called by Alaska. Napakahalaga ni Coquinito with 2.44 remaining. A 2 point lead para sa Alaska Milk. Yeah. So what I want to do, I want to call it again. Johnny will go, will go blue on you. All right, against Gaiosa. You take him by yourself. All right. Okay. No double. And then when he starts to come into the key, let's all collapse. All right. Let's go three out of bounds. Johnny and Joe. Johnny and Joe on the weak side over here. Okay. Three over here. Weak side. One, two, three, three. How big is this play, How big is it? A oh, very, very big play. We need the Palasco only two points. They're looking to score, but this game, is, as we mentioned, Canina, far oh. over. Marami Patayong Oras, 2.44 to go. So many more possessions that can happen here in this game. So many points still to be scored. But here in this play, Johnny Amariandos is going to go one-on-one -on, -one on JB Gayos. He likes that matchup. And he said, when he drives to Amariandos, collapse and try to wait for the dish off if in case Abarientos sees an open man. 18 seconds of shot clock ng Alaska. Tandaan niyo po si Pong Hawkins hampered by a back pain. Si Vincenzo naman sa pahin ng Gordons already out with six personal fouls. Lastimosa, laban si Benny Chen. Jump shot, off the glass, wala. Maxine with another rebound. Parker in that sequence. Three red shirts going, crashing the board for the defensive rebound. Dalawang minuto, dalawang pong saglit ang nalalabi. Gayoso, nakalibre, get the match, get the match, get the foul! Execution on the part of Gordon's gym. They went for the mismatch at low post. J.V. Gayoso on top of Boyet Fernandez. Ito yung entry pass. Nanggaling kay Pal David. Here's the move, the curl move, overpowering Boyet Fernandez. Si J.V. Gayoso na tatahimik-tahimik lamang mga kaibigan has restored the lead to Gordon Jin off that bonus free throw. Factor correction, hindi pala si Boyd Fernandez yun kundi si Johnny Abarientos. One point lead para sa Gordons as we come down the twilight zone. Now they're shutting the door on Johnny Abarientos in that attempted penetration. Abarientos. Last two minutes is brought to you by new premium dry London Gin. Just right for you at May Foul. The pag drive ni Johnny Abarientos si Gayoso ang tatawagan ng kanyang pang limang personal foul. Nobody's budging, nobody's moving dito sa Cuneta. Ito, ito, obviously, itong larong ito has been, as promised, a fight of the two hottest teams in the league. Abarientos at the line, yes! Partner, both teams have now gone over the 100-point mark. This is very, very unusual. Alaska having to change its orientation from being defense-minded to offense-minded because Paul Hawkins not going to be able to play 100%. He is the top defensive player. Nalampasan na ni Johnny Abarientos ang kanyang production. Last time they met Gordons, 32 points para kay Johnny Abarientos ang kanyang career high has been 34, so this is going to be a career ball game again for the Flying A. One point lead for Alaska. They're looking inside and they foul. Both teams are in the penalty. Ang tumanggap ng foul si Boyet Fernandez at pupunta sa linya si Benny Cheng para sa foul yan ni Boyet Fernandez. And si Benny Cheng will be at the stripe pressure back free throws here. Marlo Aquino, take a look at uh, the different touches he has had in this game. Follow up, one out of two. Post up, seven out of ten. And Benny Cheng's luck seems to have run out at least in that first free throw. And na nabanggit natin ginito ang Gordon Shin is the worst free throw shooting club due to the old Filipino. Only 68.9% as a team. Benny Cheng, minkis na naman sa pangalawa. 
two big misses by Danny J. One point ball game. Hold on to your seats, folks. Two man game on the front side. Simosa, but he has to start in isolation. Lastimosa, moving in. Oh, 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 what a move! Lastimosa getting his first two points into the fourth quarter. But on Lahino, not a lot of the ball. No fit. Club Roman jeans and shirts. Club Roman. One minute and 25 remaining. It is the final quarter. Taklupong abate ng alas to Melky Wilmeron. Bumalik sa laro. At uh, bola ng Gordon Zinn. A very important position. Both teams are in the penalty. Okay, one of the top players, uh, Gordon Zinn, now sitting down on the bench. And that's Benny Chen. Isa po yung pinalitan ni Wilmeron. Samantala si Hawkins. Yung bibigyan na naman ng ball. At si Tony looks at Kuti Bruman muli. So free throw line. Ito po yung fifth quarter alone. Pinito ang Gordon Zinn has missed. Five free throws. They're four out of nine. And Alaska, perfect from the line. Six out of six. Malaking bagay talaga yung free throw shooting. Nabanggit mo nga, no? Five misses from the free throw line. Alos mo pala ba, Gordon? Yes, at ang laman ng Alaska, taklo. Locks in. Yes. And he has sharpened his skills from the line. He keep going. Ina-analyze from Oras. White Blanco has done a good job uh, guarding Nolly Lockton, the absolute strong offense. Now it's winning time, going to have to be stopping the game. Lockton had the offensive rebound and another foul. And he will go back to, to the line. Si Lastimosa ang natawagan ng foul. Pakatlong foul ni Jojo Lastimosa. Alam mo, yun lang uh, isang uh, blessing dito sa Gordons. Bagamat nagmimintis na ng free throw, nandun lagi si Mark Lockino. Minsan si Nolly Lockin to get those offensive rebounds. Yeah, take a look at the presence of mind of uh, Nolly Lockin. Going to where the ball fell. Rebound, Joe! Wala pa rin. Grabe. Grabe itong uh, isang struggle ng Gordons from the four and a half meter line. And of course, uh, contrast that to the fact that uh, Alaska scored so many points yes. from the line on fouls given up by Gordon Jin. Another free throw dahil gumalaw si Bong Hawking in violation. The bonus will be given to Nolly Lockton. It's a two-point lead, mga kaibigan. Too many missed free throws here by Gordon Jin. Yang 104 puntos ng Alaska Pinito is the highest that they've scored in this season so far. And Johnny Amarianto just too shy of tying his career high. He's got 32 points in this game so far. Ayo kanya career high na 34. Magawa rin yan laban sa Hinebra din. So he really likes playing against the team. Ano ito si Amarianto? Laban si Valdivid. A minute. Oh! A bad pass here by Johnny Amarianto sa kanya niya. Kakat sila si Mosa and an opportunity for Gordon to grab the lead. Fight out a big break. And the man who caused that turnover was Paul David because he was sucking vision of Johnny Abariento because of his good defense. Locked in, he's not going to be able to get the ball. He's not going to be able to get the ball. He's not going to be able to get the ball. He's not going to be able to get the ball. He's not going to be able to get the ball. He's not going to be able to get the ball. Now he will be back at the strike for the bonus. What a big turn of events here. Yung mga hindi inaasahang bayani, mga kaibigan, para sa Gordon Jin, Benny Chang, ngayon si J.B. Gayoso. And look at the reaction of Tim Cohn amidst this stipulation sa Coneta Astrodome. Gayoso with a bonus free throw. So yes. Two-point lead para sa Gordon Jin. 46 seconds remaining. Avarientos, nilusutan siya, Valdavid, Hukin, Lastimosa, Lito sa Cruz. Wala! Locks in at the rebound! Nagawa ni Bong Hukis bola daw ng Gordon Sin! A big three-point attempt from Giorgio Lastimosa not finding the mark and Noli Lockton was there for the rebound. Sa buti pag naagawa nito si Noli Lockton ni Bong Hukin. Both teams kinito meron pang dalawang timeout na pwedeng itawag full timeout. Both teams also are in the penalty. Samantala, tatawag na nga ng kanilang second to the last time out ang Gordon's Gin. Fourth quarter, ang Gordon's Gin ay nasa driver's seat na ngayon at bola pa nila 
Tumawag ng timeout si Coach Sonny Jaworski. Diyan ang ating uh, sitwasyon. One more full, one more 20 para sa Gordon. Two full timeouts para sa Alaska. No? Both teams in the penalty. Ano ang options dito ng Alaska? Kinito? Well, I don't think Alaska is going to give us a foul and risk uh, uh, Gordon Chin going to the stripe and getting a, a, an additional two points. Although... Um, uh, Gordon Jim has not been hitting well uh -huh. from the strike. No? I think they'll try to play good defense and try to find out what can happen here. Lahat po ng tao na umaapaw na tao dito sa Cuneta Asli Dome at the edge of their seat mga kaibigan. And it's been a tremendous struggle at the Dome. Marlo Aquino still playing the long court. If they're not giving up the foul, it's about a seven second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Now they will wait, I think, for a miss. That's a big, that's a big steal. Eight seconds remaining on the tawag ng timeout. And they're gonna call for a timeout. Four timeout now. Beautiful steal. Alaska Milker down by two. Find that a good move on the part of Alaska that they did not give up the foul. We'll be back. Get the ball, Johnny. Come on out and get it. We'll spin your screen here. All right. Go with the screen, Joe. If you don't get it, clear out. All right, right, pop out. Edward, stay out here. Over the top, away from the ball. Well, magkakasubukan po ng opensa sa panig ng Alaska. Depensa naman ng Gordon Zien dito sa Hulin. 7.2 seconds of the ball game. It's been a tremendous game for both teams dito. And this, Cuneta has to go And uh, both these teams so evenly matched. Certainly two of the elite teams sa PBA ngayon. Si Bong Hawkins ang mag-i-inbound. Straight up defense. Pasa niya. Buti ka mga gaw. Ano na ang ikaloso? And he will be fouled by... Put Suenyo in a bad pass mula kay Boom Hawkins kinito. Cross court dangerous pass. Parker, hinahanap nila si Johnny Abariantos. And Abariantos was hounded by the fronting defense of Valdavid. And they had to go to Put Suenyo. And Gayoso read that play so well. It was a long pass. And that's very dangerous off the inbound. And the panuri kinu na natin muli. They were looking for Johnny Abariantos to get, to get the pass. And we'll see that replay later on. Meantime, JV Gayoso now in double figures. The JV Gayoso, ang kai sa sana lamang maliban kisa ni Jorsi, remaining uh, member of that 1991 championship team, ang uh, Ginebra San Miguel gets both baskets, and they're on top by four. And Coneta Asdom is rocking. We'll be back. Get a three. Get a three. Ito na ang huling huddle ni Coach Tim Cohn Pinito and we heard him say, get the three, get the three. They're going for the court of last resort. That's right. Uh, they're going to go for a quick three-pointer. And if they nail it, then the lead will go down to one point. Then they will give up the foul and then hope for the best. Ah, but they need, Noli, they need to have a good inbound here because they did not have a good inbound the last time. Oh. They wanted Johnny Abariantos to get the ball. Si Hawkins muli ang mag-inbound. At nakapit ka naman ni Valdavid. Alam mo, madalas kinikriticize ang depensa ng uh, Gordon Zinn. But today, in this final yeah. one minute, they've obviously shown that they're a tough defensive well, team. Well, Pater, alam na nila that uh, Johnny Abariantos will want to get possession of the ball. And, and uh, Valdavid, well, there you go. Abariantos getting off the three-point shot. And J.D. Gayoso with the last rebound of the game. What a victory for Gordon's chin! Malaking panalo pa para sa Gordon's chin. They will climb to 8-2. and two. Sonny Jaworski enjoying one of his finest starts. At nandun si Tim Cohn. A big, big victory. Nagbogay ang Gordon's chin. Ang apat na puntos. 108-104. Babalik kami ligin ito para sa final words in this ballgame. Sa larong ito, 108-104. A heart stopping victory para sa Gordon Jim Pinito at talaga namang hard-earned win para sa Bors ngayong araw na to. Well, partner, hindi naguro si Coach Tony Jaworski. He concentrated in coaching. And for, for Alaska, feeling the absence of uh, of Bong Hawkins not able to play 100%. Tsaka this game turned into an offensive shootout. No? Yan ang gustong-gusto ng Gordon Jim. Well, mga kaibigan, talking about offensive shootout, ang ating uh, player of the game, walang iba kung hindi, isang mama na muntik na nga buti ng kanyang ika nga Pinakamagandang performance ito sa All-Filipino Cup. At yan po ay si J.V. Gayoso. He had a tremendous game today. 11 points, 4 rebounds, 3 steals kinito. Well, J.V. Gayoso had two three-point plays. Both very crucial in the fourth period. And of course, he had that steal late in the game that sealed it for Gordon Jin. Meron pa po tayong isang award, yung Hardy Flex Building Board, King of the Boards. At nagmula rin yan sa kumpunan ng Gordon Jin, ang tangke, si Nolly Loxin. 
grabbing a total of 13 boards today, 11 defensive and 2 offensive. And grab it along in that only Nolly looks, especially in the absence. Me, this is one who fouled out very early out in the fourth year. Fighter honorable mention to Benny Cheng scored 16 points. Five players from Gordon's Gin scoring in double figures. Yena tinatawag natin a balanced offensive performance. Well, alayun na naman po ang Gordon's Gin ang Alaska naman. Didikit dun sa gitna and it's gonna be a very close uh, wind up dito sa semi-final round. Di pa po tumitigil yung pintig ng puso ko, partner. Alright, meron pa po tayo mga laro sa Biernes in observance of Holy Week.